All right, uh, let's look at the homework 1.3, 1.4, uh, problem number 11. All right, so let's find the domain and range of this, gi this given function here. All right. All right, so when you have square root, uh, well, one thing we have to make sure that the expression inside the square root has to be non-negative. So we can get this inequality. So 8x minus 9. So this is inside the square root. This has to be non-negative, which means that that has to be greater than or equal to 0. All right. So let's isolate x here. So first thing I would do is uh, I'm going to uh, try to uh, move negative 9 over to the other side. So we can do that by adding 9 to it. So we have uh, 8x is greater than or equal to 9. All right? Then we can just uh, divide through by 8. So that we have uh, x is greater than or equal to 9 over 8. All right? So x is greater than or equal to 9 over 8. So interval notation, you're going to start from uh, 9 over 8. Uh, since there's equality, so we use a square bracket. And then go all the way to positive infinity. So we put positive infinity and uh, write uh, parenthesis. All right? So uh, let's type this guy in. So domain is a square bracket uh, uh, 9 over 8 and comma and then positive infinity. So symbol and the infinity. All right? Then uh, we want to find a range too. All right? So the range is going to be um, possible y values or a possible function value, right? So you can see that, that there's a square root, right? And the smallest possible you can get out of square root is going to be zero. Uh, for example, you can put uh, x to be 9 over 8, and that will give you a zero inside. Square root of zero is zero. So zero is possible, right? Then it take any value above zero as well. So the um, the range is going to be starting from uh, zero and above. So the range of uh, f is equal to starting from zero and the positive infinity. All right. So uh, let's uh, type it in. All right. Uh, it's going to be starting from zero and the positive infinity. All right. So uh, let's check the answer. Uh, submit for testing. All right. I came back and looks like we got the domain and range correctly. All right. Uh, to make sure that uh, this is a correct one, uh, I'm going to show you what the, the graph is going to look like um, on uh, GeoGebra. So I'm going to open up a GeoGebra. All right, uh, there's a free software called the GeoGebra. So I'm going to just uh, Google GeoGebra and hit, hit, hit enter. All right, so you have, uh, it's like a graphing calculator and does uh, other things. But uh, what we can do is uh, we can go to uh, GeoGebra and I click on here. All right, then we can just uh, maybe start graphing, maybe. All right, so here. All right, and it opens up. So I'm going to type in uh, y is equal to uh, square root. So there's a square root here, All right? Uh, then you have uh, 8x uh, minus 9, All right? Then hit enter. All right, so then you can actually, uh, I think it, uh, you can just uh, click and drag and uh, kind of move things around and uh, here. All right, so you can see that uh, the domain is going to be starting from not this is nine over eight and above. All right, so that's why we have nine over eight and above. All right, and also a range is going to be so you can see the smallest possible function value y value is zero, 
then you can go any higher, uh, you know, as high as you want. You can see that uh, this guy is actually getting higher and higher. So that's why the range is starting from zero, including zero, and up, right? So that's why we have a domain and range uh, this way, all right? Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.